I am very thrilled to go home to Plotagon City for the first time in three years. I can't believe I was gone for that long, and today is finally the day I get to go home. After three years, I wonder what Plotagon City looks like right now. I bet they've changed a lot ever since I left Plotagon City. I will find out today. Here I am, finally back in Plotagon City. Let's go inside the train station to find a way out, and then I will explore Plotagon City on the way home. Ah oh man, it's so great to be back in Plotagon City. Now where should I go? I think I will go that way, and see what's new. I bet everything looks different now. Wow, that's a beautiful sculpture I'm seeing here. This city has changed a lot ever since I left Plotagon City for three years. Holy crap, what the heck was that? That was a big explosion. I must hide quickly before I end up getting killed. This should be the safe spot. No one can see me here so I'm definitely safe in here. Wow, what a long day today. I can't believe there are explosions all over the city. Just hoping I can. Hey you. Who the heck are you? Well, um, are you my Uber driver? No, I am not your Uber driver. You are in a wrong ride. Alright then, I'll leave your car now. Well this sucks. Where else can I go, to shelter in place? It's not safe out here due to the city becoming a dangerous war zone. Oh look. I can see Mason Velez's house 200 meters away. I'm going to walk over to his house and surprise him for the first time in three years. This will be fun. At least his house is untouched by the war zone. Time to go in. Where is Mason? He should be around here somewhere. I will look at the kitchen. If he's not there, I will go to the living room. I don't see him in the kitchen either. He must be in the other living room. It also looks like he has nothing left in the kitchen, so I might as well move on to the next part of the house. He's not in here either. Looking in the other room. He's not in here either. Maybe he's not home at all. I'm out of here, and I'll find my home now. It's now been a week since the explosion occurred at Caillou's house. Those who were in the hospital from the explosion have been recovered, with at least two patients being discharged. Here they are now. Hello Caillou. This is Dr. Lu here again. I have great news to tell you. What is it, Dr. Lu? Today, I am announcing that your parents have made a full recovery, and they will be discharged from the hospital today. They just have to rest for a few more days before they can continue their normal activities. Oh really? Yes! 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 My parents are finally fully recovered. This is officially the best day of my life. Thank you so much Dr. Lu. Oh here they come now. Dr. Lu, thank you for everything you do to save our lives. Yeah, we really appreciate your help and doing everything you can to keep us alive. You are so very welcome, Doris and Doris. You should rest for at least three days before continuing your daily activities. Otherwise, you guys are good to go. Have a wonderful night. Isn't it amazing to see my parents recover from their injuries? Absolutely Caillou. Good thing none of this died from the explosion. We are grateful to be alive. But sadly, my house is gone, as we are still trying to figure out who was responsible for causing the massacre. The city is also under attack as well, so I bet whoever catches the perpetrator will be reward. Yep, 
and we will also confront them and give them our peace of minds. I'm going to help out some librarians. Be back later. Alrighty then. Oh look at that, I see my brother Caillou, and he grew a hair. I'm going to surprise him by pretending to be a librarian. Excuse me sir, look behind you. Alright, who could it be? Rosie? Is that you? Welcome home sister, I miss you so much. It's so great to have you back in Plotagon City. I know. I also see that you grew your hair. I've never seen that before. I always wanted to grow my hair because I don't like being bald. So anyways, would you like to help us find who is responsible for causing a Halloween massacre? I would love to. I can't wait to see them get caught. Yo Mason Velez, when you're done helping the librarians, meet me outside because we're about to go on a huge mission. Alright Rosie, go inside this shop and see if the terrorists are in there causing troubles. Roger that. I love those beautiful flowers. I might as well take one. You find anything? Only one person was inside. The owner is restocking flowers. To answer your question, no, I didn't see any troubles inside. Okay, let's go inside the cafe across the street. I'm going inside to check whoever's inside. Be back in a minute. Welcome to the cafe, how may I help you? Hello, I was wondering if you've seen any troublemakers roaming the city. I'm surprised we haven't encountered any under attacks here yet. Not in my sight. Everyone is as cool as it is right now. Alright, I'm going to continue on with my search. Thank you very much sir. No troublemaker inside. Let's go to the war-torn side of the city. It looks like we've got much of the city except here. Should we stop for the day and go to our hideout? I think we should. We've done enough damage so let's call it an end. Those good-for-nothing terrorists have got to be around here somewhere. That's what my body steps is telling me. I think I see someone. That person looks so familiar. Oh, it's my normal clone Caillou. Classic Caillou, what are you doing here in the forest? And why do you have a bazooka in your hand? Wait a second, did you have something to do with the massacre in Plotagon City, and were you one who destroyed our house? Um, 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 yes, I destroyed the entire city, along with my girlfriend, Dora the Explorer. Warning, the next scene will be very loud. In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. You did what? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, classic Caillou and Dora the freaking Mexican failure adventure. I cannot believe you two destroyed our house and started a rampage throughout Botaga City. That was the worst crime you have ever done in your whole entire lives. You almost killed everyone, including us, not only in the house, but also the entire city. That is so it. I'm calling our parents, Dora's parents, and the police. You two are so much in deep up hell right now. Hello, you are speaking with a police officer. Do you have an emergency? Hi officer. Yes I do. I just found two biggest criminals who were behind the Halloween massacre. Classic Caillou and Dora the Failure Adventure were the two who went on a rampage and terrorized the whole Plotagon city. We are located at the forest near Street Corner. You've got to be serious. I've never seen them act much worse than before. We are coming over and I will put them in jail. 
This is completely unacceptable of them to do a such thing. Thank you for informing me. You're welcome. We will wait a few minutes. Looks like we're going to have to stay in a temporary house for a while. Ain't that bullcrap? It sure is for us. Let's turn on the TV and tune in to the news channel for updates about the situation. Good evening everyone glad you could join us for some evening headlines. My name is Diesel Busters, but first I want to get to breaking news just now. Two suspects who were behind the Halloween massacre are now in police custody, facing terrorism and attempted murder charges. Clay 1954 has more on that story. Everyone in the city of Palatagon are relieved to see arrests of two criminals behind the attacks. Two hunters, Caillou and Rosie, were on a manhunt to find two terrorists suspected of committing a massacre throughout Palatagon City. It was until Caillou found two suspects, Classic Caillou and his girlfriend Dora Marquez, who were behind the attacks all along, holding a bazooka on their hands. Police were called to arrest these two and drove them to Plotagon County Jail. Here's what a few people have to say about this news. As me and Rosie were on a manhunt, I saw two pricks sitting on a rock with bazookas on their hands, and that's when I realized they were responsible for the attacks. I yelled at them and called the cops, and they took them to jail. I just got back from my long hiatus, and I totally never expected to see what was happening throughout Plotagon City. I'm thankful to see no one die from the attacks, let alone a few injuries. I hope they receive justice, and never see the whole world again. Classic Caillou and Dora Marquez will be held in Plotagon County Jail until the trial begins. Reporting in Forest Glade, Clay 1954, for Plotagon News. If they are found guilty, they will face the death penalty. Thank you for tuning in to Plotagon News, we will see you in a few hours. Did you hear that Boris? Those bastards are finally caught and locked up. That's so amazing. At least they won't terrorize the city anymore. Wait a minute, hold up there. So it was classic Caillou and Dora who were behind all of this the entire time? I can't freaking believe them. We are going over there to confront these two pieces of crap. I can't stand those two troublemakers anymore. Yo Mason, I have amazing news. What is it Animation Dude 95? Two terrorists, who have been rampaging throughout Plotagon City, have been finally caught an hour ago and locked up in Plotagon County Jail. We are finally safe now. Good freaking riddance to that. Who are the two terrorists that they arrested? Believe it or not, but it's classic Caillou and Dora the Stupid Failure Adventure. Really? Oh those two bastards are so gonna get them. Should we go confront them in the courthouse tonight? I'm down for it man. I can't wait to yell at them really hard. Hey Rosie, should we give classic Caillou and Dora the Stupid Failure Adventure our piece of our minds? Absolutely Caillou. Karma is so going to bite them someday. Let's go to the courthouse to hear the judge's sentencing, then we'll make a statement about them.